Hey everyone, it's Normal Life. Welcome back to my channel with another Gwent video. And we're going to look at, in my opinion, the most OP Siege deck you can have. Now, this is a deck that most people don't play because people just copy other streamers and use the deck that has muslin uh, there and other non-devotional things. This is a full devotion siege. It is so overpowering because of uh, devotion. You get the most points out of this deck. And if you basically have the siege scenario card in your hand in round three you're basically going to win the game it's that easy before we get to the deck and the strategy how to use it to its full advantage and the step-by-step -step guide and the gameplay me using it as well guys subscribe to this channel like this video and write a comment below uh, what deck you're probably using as well because doing them things like and subscribing and commenting can really help this video perform in the youtube algorithm so i would appreciate that if you can do that for me and also guys i stream on twitch so if you want to watch me play live uh, with gwent uh, on twitch you can by going to normal life gaming if you search for that or if you link, uh, if you look at the link below in the description, you'll you'll see it. Um, so, guys, uh, let's get into the deck, and then we'll look at the gameplay and me using this. So here we are, guys. We're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide how to use this. We're going to go through each card and what they technically do, uh, and then we're going to look at the gameplay me using this deck. So the uh, this is a full devotion. So all of these cards are Northern Realms. Uh, now I'm so excited because Siege has been so slow, but they've improved it so it has a bit more tempo, and you can get the cards out quicker, and then start um, damaging your opponent and basically overwhelming them. So we're going to go through um, each uh, card then. Uh, so the leader charge first. Uh, you need uh, zeal uh, zeal is for only three cards because the three cards that do need zeal to get used quicker um and so you can get full advantage so you're only going to use a zeal on three of the cards so you get uh, three charges with this and it boosts your um when your cards by two and gives them zeal because there's some cards that have to um have an order ability that has to wait till the next turn so the strategy that if you have blue coin is a uh, crystal skull you can actually change this to what you want if you feel comfortable having curse scroll or tactical advantage for an extra point but I use a crystal skull just because of that veil. Having veil on a card can really help you win a pro against vampires in the first few um, three turns, uh, or if your card gets ruptured. So crystal skull is really good, and you probably want to use this uh, as soon as possible on a soldier, so you can get, keep crew um, on a siege engine. Then we have the scenario card of Siege. So this is the most powerful thing in your deck. You only use this if you're going for the win in the last round. So if that's for a 2-0 or wait right into the round three if you uh, do a, a dry pass. Um, so what does the Siege engine do? So um, when you put this down, it will sp spawn a Siege engine um, and basically what I call a reinforced slingshot. And then every time you put a Siege engine down, it will spawn another Siege engine. So you've got the battering ram. And then the last turn, if you put another Siege engine down, it will put bombardment now bombardment is the most powerful thing in your deck to try and basically wipe your opponent's um uh, units off the board uh, because bombardment will split the damage by four randomly between units but you increase the damage for every siege engine that you have and your deck's full of siege engines now probably be careful when using this because uh, you don't want to put obviously all your siege engines at the start and then um you damaging only a few cards you want to let your opponent put a bit more a few cards out uh, so you can get full advantage of bombardment and you're gonna have bombardment in your hand as well so you'll be doing extra damage as well so siege engine you play on the last round that you think you're going to win on then we have amphibious assault amphibious assault or aa for short well basically uh will select around you can select any random uh unit uh which is a northern realm unit from your deck um it has echo so you can use it twice so i uh, preferably if you can use it in the first round and then save it for the last round um now the the provision has to be uh nine or below so please be careful when using this don't think you can draw any card that you can you can't see so it has to be a provision of nine or less then we have king Hensel, King Hensel on deploy will play a crew uh, unit from your deck. Um, so some siege engines has that, but we won't only want to use this for Rafa's Vengeance uh, because Rafa's Vengeance basically um, is a temper vision. We can't pull it with AA. So this is the only card that can pull Rafa's Vengeance out. And also uh, when it is placed down, uh, the units next to it it'll decrease the cooldown next to them and also it'll boost itself when doing this as well so a really overpowering card now you can use this if you had red coin and you feel like you're going to be quite far behind because i believe if you have red coin you want to try and push to win or finish on even so make it hard for your opponent uh, but if you have blue coin you may want to save uh the king hensel uh for the last round because the 
he's really, really overpowering the last round because he just draws cards out. Um, so yeah, Key Hansel, really powerful card to have. Then we have Rafa's Vengeance. So as we say, we try and pull this out with King Hensel. So King, uh, so Rafa's Vengeance basically will play a bronze unit from your hand first. Then you draw a card. Then it has a cooldown of five. Uh, but we've got Winch, which we can try and reduce this cooldown as well. Um, but if you give this crew, so you have two soldiers next to it. Uh, as soon as you put that soldier next to it and it has a crew, um, it will actually damage one of the opponents. Um, just like Coral uh, by two and basically fire like a firebomb across the battlefield. So uh, this usually gets killed killed first off but if you can use Rafa's Vengeance to thin your deck and get at least one card out brilliant and you can potentially use it again if they can't kill this card so um, really overpowering card to have if you're on red coin just to thin your deck and try and win uh, round one if you're on red coin oh, but if you have this on the, the last round um, in round three and you're on blue coin again it's, it's a the, your win chances go up dramatically also, before I forget, before I move on, um, this is one of the cards you want to use your Zeal Leader ability because this has an Order ability, so it has to wait to the next to your next turn to use. So you want to use this as soon as possible with your Zeal lead, Leader ability. Then we have Prince Anais. So Prince Anais is to get rid of big point cards or bit bit rid of big threats. Uh, so you, if you can play this in round one um, to secure round one, this would be good because um, you can't actually draw this from AI. That's the only problem with this card because it's a temporary vision. So what happens with this card when you place it down? Uh, it does have an order ability, so you want to use the zeal um, from your leader charge, so it can use it straight away. And then basically you want to play it in the back, so it gets an extra point because formation. If you put uh, the units with formation status on the card if you put them on the range row it will gain an extra point uh, so we play this in the, the range row it gains an extra point we use our zeal so we get a total of seven points um, and then you want to try and duel with a, an opponent's cards that one that you can uh, beat so duel is quite hard to explain to be fair so um when you have when you're dueling with a card you go first which is really important um and you are basically um hitting your opponent with the power of yours to there so you hit them first so you take a maximum seven points off them they hit you back with their points um and then you hit finally hit them back and finish them off so the, i think the maximum you can hit them i think is either 11 or 12 points anything higher than i think i think it's 11 um you will lose um, so make sure you uh, do the maths right when using Jewel. Then we have Selka. Selka is the same. Uh, we need to put our leader ability on this uh, card. Uh, same like Prince of Nice. It basically does the exact same. It's just a different card. Um, and it will do Jewel again. This does not have formation though. So you play this in the melee row. Um, use your leader charge and then challenge a card that you think you can beat, which is a high threat. So this is really good to have potentially in the last round because you can actually draw this from AA because it is a nine provision card. Then we have Hubert. Uh, Hubert's basically a thinning card like Roach in your deck in some way. Uh, but this has a, a counter that it has to use. So every time you use an order charge, which you're going to use lots of them because you've got siege engines which use order charges. When the counter goes down to zero, he'll basically come out to the range row. Um, now, this will, this is quite useful to win round one if you're using quite a lot of um, leader charges. And then suddenly you've got a random five points that pop out from nowhere. Uh, the only problem with this, if you brick it in your hand, it's just to it's just a five point card it's kind of useless so it has full advantage when it's in your deck and you can get it out uh, so yeah if you can try and use as many um, order charges as you can in round one uh, with an extra five points on your side this can make your opponent pass then we have full test bride full test bride is the most powerful siege engine that you've got because of the most damage you can do to lots of units so this will damage uh, basically uh, a three a target of three units next to each other so the middle target you hit will damage by two the two units on the side of the middle target Target that you hit gets damaged by one so you're quite take you're taking quite a lot of points with your opponent um, now this has a cooldown of four but the amount of um warfare cards that you use and you can get this reduced really quickly um so your opponent might probably want to illuminate this because this is a big threat on the board especially if you got it in round three then we have John Natalis. This basically pulls out our warfare cards. So we have quite a few options. Uh, you probably want to use if you got use this in round one. Um, you probably want to use AA. So you can pull out big cards to finish with your opponent, like Selkirk, for example. Um, so yeah, this is really good for the finishing deck and finding cards that you can't have in your hand straight away. So now we have reinforcements. This is another warfare card. This will spawn a base copy um, of a bronze unit that you have on the battlefield. Uh, now I use this depend on scenario, scenario reasons. I use this either to uh, on a marine to get more points, 
or uh, potentially get another siege engine so I can get my scenario card working quicker if I need to use the full bombardment. Uh, so reinforcements, really good to have. Uh, I'd say probably in round one with a marine in your hand. Then we have boiling oil. Now, if you watch my live streams, for some reason, I say boiling water. I don't know why. I, I, I still don't know why I say I still, I'll, If you watch my live streams, you, you see me play Siege, I'll say boiling water straight away without even realising. Uh, so basically, this damages uh, an enemy by five, good removal card, and then um, on the death blow, it'll purify the cards to, to the side of it, um, which is not a big deal, purifying cards. It could be if some of them have Veil, um, but, um, or for example, you've got uh, Saskia, which you want to probably get rid of the immune, uh, so then you can damage it. So um, yeah, so really good... Uh, um, removal card to have in your deck then we have Kara Ballista, um, which is a mouthful to say. Uh, so this is another Siege Engine to have, uh, and then it has a cooldown of three, but can be really uh, quick to use every time you're using a Warfare card. And this damages an enemy by two. Uh, so yeah, you can play this really at any point in round one or in round uh, three. Then we have a Reinforced Ballista. Um, so this probably you want to play, uh, play in round one because of the weakest of the Siege Engines, but still powerful because they've got a cooldown of one, so you constantly repeatedly been using them all the time and damaging your opponent by one. Um, like the previous uh, cards that we have, it has formation, so if you play this in the back row, um, it'll gain an extra point, but it, it depends on what you want to do situation. You can play it in the melee, use it straight away, or just gain a point and wait a turn. So it depends on your opponent what cards have got out. Then we have Bombardment, which is so powerful in round three, especially if you've got plenty of siege engines on the board. Bombardment basically will split uh, four damage between all units, but it will increase the uh, value of that for every siege engine that you hold. So, for example, if you've got six siege engines straight away out, um, that's a lot of damage, and you have two of these. So, you're, yeah, your opponent's really going to struggle. Then we have Winch, which is useful for either Pride or a Rafa's Vengeance, uh, just to reduce the cooldown by three, uh, so you can use them quick, quickly, and also it boosts our cards by five as well. Then we have Siege Tower. Siege Tower is actually, it's quite um, underrated in my opinion. Uh, this basically will boost itself by two with Vitality, or if you have crew ability, which a few of these cards have crew, which I haven't mentioned. Um, so that's when you have two soldiers next to it. It'll just basically boost itself by two instead of, instead of vitality, because vitality gains over a period of time. And this has a cooldown by two. So this can actually be, play for big points if it's not actually um, checked by your opponent. Now, the, the reason why we play uh, Devotion is because of this card, Marine. Marine, without Devotion, boosts uh, our other units by two. But because they have Devotion, it boosts them by four instead. So we have two of these. Then we have a reinforcement so we can make another one um so yeah basically this is a really big point card to have uh for four provisions it's so underrated this card then we have siege masters uh now we have two of these but i hardly i don't think of ever and for some reason it's my luck i hardly get these uh two of these in my first hand you kind of want uh, all these in your hands in the first round because it thins your jet quicker um so every time you put a siege engine it will summon itself onto the battlefield then draw a card out for you so this is good for thinning um but it also it, it creates crew as well because these are soldiers so you can put these in between um so you so you can put uh, a siege engine between these uh so basically these thins your deck and creates crew as well so really good cards to have uh, and this is what's kind of saved in my opinion uh, siege because of these cards just to thin your deck quicker uh, but yeah if you can get two of these in your hand in round one you are winning but i hardly get them in round one so guys we're going to look at the strategy how to use this now the way i play this if i'm playing against other factions um and i'm on red coin you want to be aggressive and you can do this deck you can actually overwhelm your opponent uh, with just the simple bronze cards especially with the marines you want to try and win the round if you can on even because when you go and this is if you've got siege in your hand because if you've got siege in your hand and you're going to round two you could potentially two nil your opponent um if you're on blue coin you basically just want to win round one you can easily do that especially with the stratagem and as i mentioned just using your bronzes quite carefully uh, don't use too many golds the only golds you probably want to use this in this deck is uh, prince anais because you can't actually um draw this out with aa so if you want to eliminate a big card you can do that um other goals that you probably want to use um depending on what happens is your reinforcements and uh, 
potentially pride if you're desperate uh but don't use too many uh golds in this also don't forget hubert might come out as well if you plan these uh order abilities um but if you're against a siege deck um basically the person who puts their siege cards down in round three wins so um you want to try and bleed them out as much as you can in round one if against a mirror deck you might you what you don't want to win it sounds weird you don't want to re win round one uh because your opponent's probably more likely with siege gonna pass round two dry pass and let you go first uh, but the advantage of going first when playing mirror siege is if the person who puts their siege um, scenario card down first in my opinion wins because it gets their siege card working quicker and gets all your siege engines um um, in front of your opponent and basically they can't even use their siege because you could bombard and stop all the units that are coming out um so guys uh that is the strategy how to use it let's watch some gameplay of me using it and um if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and comment also uh, follow me on twitch to see me play live and let's get straight into the gameplay um oh self-harm oh this is gonna be yeah it's gonna be difficult oh being on self it's gonna get with red coin it's very difficult to catch up with so we need to be careful here good at sieges in our hand i feel like this is well balanced yeah i think this is a well balanced hand already i i don't think i'll change it Probably would have got a yeah, cell cut. It's probably the one I wanted to get rid of. Thinking about it. Okay, we're going to kill that. That's a big threat for us. Because that'll just keep boosting and boosting. Hmm. I think we might need to do King Pencil in this round. Just to have a bit of a chance of catching up. Yep. He gets a disc almost a full discard package here. Uh so let's play King Pencil, we need to catch up. Uh Rafa's Vengeance. I'll give you a boost. Apply this siege engine. Play it on this side of King. So um, we do get the full boost. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, fair enough. It's the opponent. Um, we probably want to kill this road. So I think maybe we put Pride down. As much as I don't want to do it. Okay, so we want to try and get ahead on red coin, getting ahead. Now we've got to try and sustain it. Now you've got to play some big units, I think. Got to play some golds here now. Okay. Strange. Uh, can we wrap as vengeance? You can't even use... Oh, we can use it. Okay, so take full advantage. Let's go and... Um... Let's go and take full advantage of thinning the deck. And keep ahead. So this is good as well. This is very good so far. We've still got a lot of, quite a few good high removals as well. I think Metasus is going to come out. Medicine, sorry. Is going to come out going to be placed here oh my god that is massive for us that is really big okay right so let's um we go for the big push now so probably playing king hensel was a good call being on red coin just to keep ahead that's how good he is just how he draws them the units out 
Um, right, what do we need though? We probably need. So we're gonna throw you away. That's good. We'll keep that. Maybe get rid of boiling. Please do not brick Hubert. Oh my god, that's massive. I thought Hubert was gonna come out as well. Right, so yeah, we've got to go for it. We've got to go for the uh, the two 0 God, the two siege mashes coming out is massive for us. Massive. Unless you it comes out. What's he on? Four? Ah, he could come out, to be fair. I'm worried about Hubert coming out. Who's got a hope? You can kiss my tail. Tail, goodbye. goodbye. What do we want, though? First, what do we want first? Probably we need some more attack. So let's go and put you down. Nice. Oh, I knew. I said it was coming to come out. Come out. Oh, no. Okay. We'll have to deal with that. We have to deal with that. You're basically Hubert. You're going to be the last card I'll put down. That's a shame. Siege Masters. I ask for you and then you don't serve me right. The only thing, good thing we've got Marine and um, Reinforcements. That's the only good thing. I think this guy's bricked. That's why he's passed early. Okay. Um, and let's play. Yeah, just play you down. Yeah, we can kill that. Oh, got to click. We just lost two points. You can see I'm making lots of human errors here. And you was not supposed to come out, Mr. Hu Hubert. You're supposed to stay. Good. Oh, I didn't realise you had that. Um, let's throw you out. Boost you. And then I feel like we need to probably kill this. So let's go and kill this. I'm God. A duel. To a duel I challenge thee. Right, we've got a lot of pressure on him. You can't hardly get any cards out. We can we can kill that. That's not a problem. Oh, one second. One second. Could we bombardment that? How many see? We've got one, two, three. Yeah, let's save you and then use this first and then kill it. I was meant to kill that first, but Medici can go back because that's I feel that's like going to come back and I could AA for that, but it's going to come back. So let's go in AA for Selkirk and kill it again. It doesn't get the hint, this card. It does not get the hint. Oh, imagine if Hubert was like a bombardment. That would have been good. Um, and then we're going to place. What could we give crew here? We can give this crew. Um, we'll keep probably. Yeah, no, we'll keep this alive. I feel like this guy's bricked massively. Mental! 
He's going to find it funny that my last card's going to be Hubert. And it could have been Bombardment and he would have had no chance. Right, so. Keep you alive and then let's go and damage. Doesn't really matter what we damage. I make a second Marine. And give this crew. What should we keep alive here? Probably this. I think we've won here. I can't see him winning in two cards. Then he's got Hubert to deal with. <laughs> big, big old Hubert, which he was, he was four orders away from coming out from our deck. Oh, you meant to be actually um, drawn out of the deck, wasn't you? Unlucky, Mr. Opponent. It could have been worse. It could have been bombardment in my hand. I would have cleared the absolute floor. <laughs> and if you get... Might just escape. Just escape and enter. Um, doesn't really matter again what we kill. Probably want to damage that. Nice, GG. There we go. Simple. Simple. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. GG, my friend. He's probably not going to give me GG. He's probably annoyed. He's bricked. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you all in my next video.